Hey Mallards, it is Tuesday. I'm with Megan and we are on our way to the first of my 2020 uh, season of Dr. Philip shows, which is now the 2021, 2022, slash also a little bit of 2023 uh, season of shows. We're starting off strong with the show that nobody wanted. Uh, so I'm here because yeah. my pick isn't until December of 2022. Yep. Um, so we're here to see Tootsie, uh, The Things We Know. It is about a man who dresses up like a woman and while doing that, falls in love with a woman that he can't tell who he really is. Well, thank you, Dad. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's got, I guess, a little bit of Twelfth Night vibes. Nobody knows. But we'll find out and we'll tell you once we're on the other side. We have made it. We are in our seats. Look, there's, there's a Megan. There's a bean. There's a stage. Did you like that really aggressive ring to show off? I did really like that aggressive ring to show off. I don't know if you guys know that Megan's engaged, but uh, she let you know right now. Oh my gosh. Too much. Uh, yeah, but we are ready for some uh, Tootsie action. It is intermission. That's true. We are halfway through the show. We think more than halfway. Yeah. Like, the second act is probably shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. Uh, my favorite character is the roommate. Mm -hmm. Far and above. I love him. I love him so much. I'm stressed because I like the show more than I thought I would. Uh, and I just don't know how it could possibly go well. <laughs> um, it does have that kind of plot that I don't like. Like, this is my least favorite plot. It's the reason I also don't like School of Rock. Because I hate a plot where, like, the whole thing hinges on somebody, like, lying about who they are. It stresses me out. Because it's never going to work out. Like, it's never going to go well. And so, like, I just feel stressed the whole show. But it is funny. Uh, the, the comedy is there. We are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will now forever say, Rome. Oh. <laughs> Matthew's Juliet, definitely my favorite character. Juliet and Rome. Oh. Uh, not nearly as good as... What light through? God. It says a window breaks. Which also... Slade. Uh, that character's just... Max reading Shakespeare. Uh, a new favorite thing. But yeah, we have enjoyed this so far. I would agree with Megan. Like, I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. But it's stressing me out. Is it stressing you out because you're enjoying it more than you thought you would for the plot? Um, yeah. Uh, we were correct about the plot. So it is a guy who, in order to get a part, dresses up like a woman. And then he gets the part. And then he falls for his co-star. And now there's doom. Yeah, Check and now there's in. definitely doom. Check back in later, see how doom unfolds. <laughs> yeah, uh, he just kissed his co-star at the end of Act 1, so it's all downhill from here. Welcome to the other side of the Dr. Phillips Performing Art Center Ooh, that didn't ah. exist the last time Megan was here. That's true. <laughs> uh, that, that show, show is over. wild. <laughs> it is absolutely wild. I could have done, I think, without the very last scene. Like, I think that I would have just liked him to be like... I wonder whatever happened to Julie. Yeah, like, actually, I don't I deserve would have to contact her, but... fine with the, like, contact scene if then he had just walked away. Like, that moment when he walked mm -hmm. away, like, before she stopped him, I wish mm -hmm. that he had just, like, said his bit. Because mm -hmm. I don't mind him getting closure, and I also mm -hmm. feel like Julie gets a little closure. Or an end of fictional first dates, just like reach for the same cup of coffee blackout where he like sees her on the bench and then it's over. Yeah. We just never Yeah, know. and we never know. I would also be okay, okay with that. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I didn't... I, I mean, I agree with you. I don't know how I feel about the ending, uh, but the musical is hilarious. Oh yeah. It was a lot of fun, and we had a really good time. And the cast was really, really Very great. talented. Oh, I loved the casting in this. I thought the girl who played Julie was incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, I really, really liked her mm -hmm. a lot. And the people behind us loved the girl who played Sandy. Know the girl who plays Sandy, we clearly. Think, yeah. Like, they, or like... just are really invested. Yeah. 
because she entered the stage the first time and they, they started like, cheering we're... and like when she was doing vows they were hooting and hollering they're like they're really see sandy fans yeah, yeah they know that's that true actor. like they could be a fan of the character or they know that performer and i'm not sure which but they were invested very enthusiastic but i think we'd recommend it was a good time yeah it was better than anticipated i would agree with that it was better than anticipated like i had worried that it'd be a little toneless uh we might try the 1982 movie and if we do that uh we'll review that instead <laughs> and we'll let you know otherwise i'll see you tomorrow